Well, I'm on the farm today. I've got the uh, McCormick Farm All 350 by International, and uh, it's cold today. Uh, and we got some snow around here, and uh, I wanted to uh, do a video. Uh, we're in January 2022, and I wanted to do a video on our uh, uh, hay farm business plan going into the new year. And uh, so maybe instead of standing inside my barn and uh, talking, I thought maybe what I would do is uh, hop on the farm all here. We continue to exercise that thing to kind of see what we got. And uh, just kind of ride around and talk about uh, what our plans are for 2022. So we're right on the edge of uh, 32, 32, to 32, 33 degrees. And, uh, you know, depending on where you look at on the forecast uh, in neighboring areas, uh, snow, freezing rain, or just rain. And it's starting to kind of drip a little something right now, but we'll, we'll keep going. A lot of my videos, I'll talk about the creek being in good shape. I uh, thought I'd ride down here along the creek. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the creek's in pretty good shape. It's uh, full enough. Probably, if anything, we haven't had as much rain as we would normally have, but uh, there's some great uh, trout fishing down in there. So if I had to make uh, one summary or one comment about our business plan in 2022, it's going to be, uh, you know, we're going to clamp down on spending in a big way. And, uh, and there are reasons for that, which I'll get into. So this area right in here, uh, I've got a video on it I'm going to put up. But I had somebody come in uh, with a, a mini excavator and a with a backhoe and a thumb, and uh, and uh, they yanked these autumn olives out of the ground and then shook the roots off. I never have uh, cleared this part of the field of these autumn olives uh, with the Massey Ferguson 50. Uh, I can take the shell off the bucket and I'm basically left with a manure fork. And uh, uh, I'm gonna try to use that to, to get these things out of the way. And I got a couple burn piles out here. I'm gonna put them on. And then uh, this whole field right in here, what we got cleared, I'm gonna try to put into some kind of hay this year. It might be teff. Uh, I'm not real sure what, what that's gonna be, but uh, uh, you know, if we're cutting spending, the, the real reason is because uh, fertilizer prices and herbicide prices are just off the charts. It's possible that we may not even put down fertilizer this year. So we want to maximize as much uh, uh, hay uh, ground as we can to kind of offset that the reduction in yield. And uh, the Model 50, uh, we need to get that thing going. We basically got it off the truck and uh, parked it. It won't start right now. I think there's some wiring issues with it. So hopefully here in 2022, we can get that thing actually going. I've got the uh, John Deere 5055 d right there. I'm not sure you can see it, but I uh, got the, the uh, Kubota fertilizer spreader on it. And uh, I'm actually putting down a little bit of lime up on the hill. We're hoping to uh, uh, start bringing the pH on some of that ground up. It's very acidic. I've got a video on that I'm gonna put up and I got a video somewhere uh, Clearing this property this little spot right here, and I'm, I'm gonna put it up So let's keep going
So one of the things we got to do in uh, 2022 is uh, we actually need to get that fertilizer spreader, fertilizer, that uh, 500 gallon uh, sprayer going. And uh, then we got some wagons in disrepair. We need to uh, we need to work on those. And I'd like to build up some wagons from some of these old running gears here. I don't know what it is coming down, but it's making my hands really cold. We're also uh, adding a John Deere 335 round baler. I've mentioned that in several videos. And uh, hoping to close the deal on that this month. This is January of 2022. And uh, see if we can get it down here on the farm and see what we got. Uh, hopefully we can put that thing into service, you know, this year. And... Uh, we want to use it on the hill to kind of expand some of our hay offering. And we're kind of doing that on the cheap because uh, there's not a lot of money in realm bales. But I want to try to cultivate that market. I've got some customers that will absolutely buy. Uh, it remains to be seen what kind of pricing we can get out of it. So we don't want to spend a pile of money on uh, realm balers and equipment. So. You know, that's why we bought the Model 50 Massey, the, our second Massey Ferguson with the loader. We got to come up with a, a spear on the uh, front loader, uh, rig up something on that thing. That was a pretty low cost tractor. And then the uh, baler, uh, I think I'm gonna get a, I think on the baler it's gonna be a win-win for uh, us and the seller. Uh, he's gonna get uh, the money I think he wants out of it and you know we're not spending you know like brand new money on a uh, four by it's a four by four baler that we think uh, you know may or may not pan out as far as uh, you know haying goes so we we'll definitely want to uh, try to push that envelope and it'll be a backup baler too uh, we'll continue to make square bales out here and across on in our other fields and we got some spots over the hill so uh, uh, I think that uh, you know the we're kind of hunkering down and uh, kind of conserving our cash uh, although we're spending money you know we're trying to uh, save money too and uh, you know want to want to just kind of be smart with uh, you know, the, the present uh, state of uh, agriculture, for lack of a better word, even though we're a little itsy farm up here, you know, uh, sure, I can go out and, uh, you know, I can go out and take out loans and uh, operating loans and buy, you know, I could, you know, I could put all the fields over the hill uh, into production, you know, next spring but it would, require, it would require a lot of money. So I prefer just to kind of uh, ease that land into production. Now we had talked about uh, getting a 15 foot bat wing and just keeping it mowed and maybe not even putting it putting it into hay right, right yet. But I felt like the prudent thing to do was uh, to, uh, uh, I felt like the prudent thing to do was to, instead of buying a 15-foot bat wing, maybe uh, invest in a round baler and a tractor with a loader. And uh, by the way, the tractor with the loader, the idea there was that uh, I could buy a loader for one of my tractors, but I didn't pay a whole lot of money for that Massey and uh, probably paid less for it with a loader than I could have just a loader by itself. So kind of got an extra tractor uh, with a front end loader that we can use for round bales. Now, this shelter right here, and I've got a carport uh, on the other side over there that somebody gave me. Uh, I'm thinking about moving that to the out next to my barn over there. Uh, one way or the other, it's going to get a roof on it. It might be another tarp, or I might get metal and put on it, but. Uh, one of the priorities in 2022 is to try to get some of our equipment out of the weather. 
and uh, that's that's something we've really been lacking on. We just don't have the barn space uh, to do that. So uh, uh, in 2022, uh, we want to kind of try to get things, you know, under shelter a little more. Let's keep going. As far as this farm all goes, I don't plan to spend any big money on it. You know, some people say, uh, paint it up, do this, do that. We are gonna move the front wheels in, they're set out. Uh, you know, right now, we just wanna kinda use it like it is. I kinda like it in its work clothes. You know, if I was gonna do a restoration, I'd probably, you know, That'd probably be uh, enough material for another video, so I probably won't uh, discuss here what I'm what I am going to do. But uh, in any event, uh, we're just kind of cautiously optimistic about hay in next year, and uh, kind of want to get the round bell thing going. We want to, uh, you know, again, I can buy piles of fertilizer and run up my overhead but i'm not sure that you know on one hand my customers are ready to pay more for hay although we are going to raise our price and uh but I, you know i it, i have to ponder the the hay situation for 2022 uh but right now i'm thinking uh we're not gonna our yields are going to be lower because we're just not going to buy expensive fertilize and uh, herbicides and uh, just kind of see how it goes. I think all that stuff's going to go down at some point, but uh, for right now, uh, I think what I want to do is just kind of ride that st storm out and uh, I just kind of want to ride out that storm and, uh, you know, see where we stand at the end of the year and, uh, you know, it might be that might be that we can make some year-end uh, purchases. I still uh, am. I have no problems with uh, doing capital investment on this farm, uh, even beyond our hay revenue, if necessary. Money is not really a uh, an issue as far as uh, you know, as far as. Uh, you know, funding this farm and putting the necessary equipment on it that we need. But at the same time, you know, I want to be judicious about it. And, uh, you know, farming is like fishing. You know, you can, you can uh, spend as much money as you want. And, uh, you know, you can spend as much money as you want on farming and uh just like bass boats and golf clubs and things like that but uh we're here to make a profit and uh and so you know there's a certain capital investment we need to make and uh you know you got to spend money to make money uh but uh and we are spending money i mean we bought two tractors uh one with a loader and we got a round baler coming so uh, we are making capital investments, but on the flip side of it, we want to kind of just be judicious with our, uh, you know, with our hay revenue uh, and how we spend it. And uh, there's also an element of, uh, I don't know if the word is profit, but I mean, obviously we're after profit, but uh, we want to, uh, I want to glean what amounts to wages for me off of this thing you know there's i don't think i would be farming up here if all i had to do was uh you know work like a dog and break even and uh so uh i want to be able to uh glean uh you know after expense revenue uh for my own personal income uh and you know we'll use that uh, for whatever you would use a day job income for. So we rely 
to some extent on uh, the the uh, hay income, you know, just for our uh, daily livelihood uh, to some extent. So, uh, you know, we want to cover our, you know, we want to cover our uh, our costs of uh, farming here, and uh, you know, we want to. Uh, replenish our savings when we make a capital investment here it comes out of our savings and uh, uh, if necessary uh, beyond the uh, uh, the hay revenue but uh, you know we want to be able to we want to be able to have some uh, revenue over and above everything else that we can use uh, for you know personal income and uh, and you know that's when I say we're into farming for a profit, it's uh, while much of that revenue is, uh, you know, poured back into the farm, uh, there has to be some element of it that, uh, you know, we can use to pay bills and, and you know, do other things, if not just save uh, for retirement or, a, you know, a rainy day or things like that. So, uh I think revenue will be down in 2022, like I said, simply because we're just not going to put a, down a pile of fertilizer like we have in the past. That's the number one thing that will uh, slow down our uh, revenue. We are going to try to keep our hay fields clean, uh, but we're not going to use quite uh, as expensive uh, herbicides. My guess is 2,4-D will probably be the go-to uh, herbicide up here uh, this year. And uh, so... Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll have a good year of it. We don't have any carryover. Uh, we're sold out of hay, so we don't have that to kind of help us out on the back end uh, like we did uh, in 2021. So uh, from the farm all 350, that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the hay farm business plan. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you get a little something out of it and. Uh, I'm ready for the weather to break. Uh, we're already getting more daylight every day. I'm very anxious to uh, uh, kind of get moving and getting in, get into the haying. And uh, I got a lot of videos in the queue. I need to get out, so uh, there may be a little more frequency in that. But uh, for right now, again from the Farmall uh, 350, uh, we'll talk to you later.